Hey everyone, my name's Seth Herter, and I'm here to show you a very simple technique to help prevent the glass on your atomizer from your vaporizer from shattering when you drop it. On March 1st, 2021, a Reddit user posed the question, what is the creepiest or most disturbing internet rabbit hole you've gone down and why within the r ask reddit subreddit a user named miker 95 shared an unsettling experience when purchasing a taser for his brother on amazon while reading the product's questions he came across a question from another amazon user asking about the effectiveness of a stun gun amazon user seth herter responded revealing that he had bought the same stun gun model and in a moment of self-directed anger had shocked himself in the face and neck around 30 times. Miker delved into Seth's profile and discovered his reviews on different weapons, sparking further curiosity. Upon exploring Seth's Facebook page, Miker stumbled upon pictures of him holding a katana, the comments labeling him as the devil and people hoping he rots. Shockingly, it emerged that Seth had taken a life using the same katana he had reviewed. <laughs> On May 3rd, 2018, detectives entered a one-bedroom apartment covered in religious imagery. A bulletin board displaying renderings of Jesus and the Virgin Mary alongside handwritten notes, including a list of names of God, EBT card account numbers, and personal debts. In the bathroom, they discovered the lifeless body of 55-year-old Christopher McCarthy, surrounded by blood and Seth's katana nearby. A maintenance worker recounted confronting a jittery Seth earlier that day. The worker tried to investigate Seth's apartment for damage due to him getting multiple noise complaints. Seth told him not today before fleeing to the victim's 2015 Chevrolet Equinox. The next day, police found him covered in blood inside a motel 70 miles away. It later emerged that McCarthy was Seth's ex-boyfriend. He was called over because Seth believed there were people living in his walls and furniture just a day before McCarthy's lifeless body was discovered. Seth had a troubling history of drug abuse and violence. His mother, Margie, argued that Seth was not in control of his actions due to hallucinations and delusions stemming from schizoaffective disorder. On September 20, 2022, Seth Herder, known as the Samurai Killer, was acquitted of first-degree murder, armed criminal action, and two counts of stealing on account of his mental illness. Once free, he was committed to a mental hospital, where he remains to this day.